I think I got it. It's still on. In five minutes. We don't have anyone to run. Thanks, boss. I already asked bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but for top I hate you could do the same. Yeah, well that's true. Ne seikki tulee, ei nyt ruveta tää siitä vaikeempaa. Oh. 
sitä maskaraa jossain. No, meidän kahvila pitää tosiaan mennä nyt hoitaa tuota sivuraja tuomarointia, että... Se vastistii grilli päällä. Good afternoon, rugby fans. We've got a partly cloudy day with the Turku Swans in to play Warriors Lina. It's about uh, 55 degrees where I come from, some unknown number in Celsius. Uh, perfect rugby weather. No sun, no wind, dry pitch. A little burned out in the middle, what are you going to do? Uh, kickoff is moments away. Saturday's a rugby day. And here's the kickoff. High, that'll go 10 meters. Not taken cleanly. Straight out to touch. Line out to the Swans. Uh, for the Warriors today, we have a front row of Emi, Rita, and Ines. Uh, second row of Julia and Johanna. Uh, loose forwards are Ilona. Linus and Lily, Elisa at 9, Sonia at 10, uh, Ida and Bob in the center, Anna, Nelly, and Julian are the back three. Oh, that's a knock on. Picked up by Warriors Advantage. Okay. Scrum to goal, first scrum of the game. And we're just a few minutes in here. Nice turnover for the Warriors off the knock-on. Let's see what happens with the scrum. Uh, as our longtime listeners and, and rugby aficionados know, this is a push of war over the ball. Warriors get to put the ball in so they have the advantage. The rep is not happy with the level of conversation on the pitch. So we called for a reset. There's the bind in the set. Boss coming through. Nice and stable. Oh, it's done half under a lot of pressure. Here comes the ball wide to Ida. Out to Bob. Kicks to touch. That'll be a line out to Swans. Oh, we got a penalty. Offsides called. So the ball's going to go back to the spot of the infraction. Offsides is a major penalty. So if uh, Wally can kick the ball straight into touch, it's their ball at the line out. Oh, and we got an extra 10 meters award for uh, some additional infraction. That's most often talking to the ref when you're not supposed to. Okay, and Wally is going to go for the three-point penalty kick. This is pretty easily in uh, Yulia's range. And right in the middle, let's see how she does. So as most rugby folks know, uh, the game requires players to show a considerable amount of respect to both the officials and the other players. Oh, that's three. Three points. Uh, a lack of discipline uh, on an offsides penalty, additional lack of discipline on uh, another 10-meter award of, of territory uh, is capitalized by uh, Julia with a three-point penalty kick. We're about five minutes into the game, and the score is Wally 3, Swans nil. Wally gets ready to receive the kick. Oh, 
So Wally's going to want to make sure they catch this ball uh, without letting it hit the ground to maintain possession, and then we'll see what sort of an attack they can mount. Okay, very nicely taken, straight up. Okay, nice run, good support. Ball comes out quickly to the right. Crash ball. Makes the game line. Well supported. Wally goes right again. Oh, stolen. Very nice steal. Ball's coming up the wing by the Swans. Very well supported. Ball comes out. Not very cleanly taken. Slight loss there, but they maintain possession. Ball comes out again. Ball goes out to the center. Oh, shit. That's a line break. She gets through a couple people. Good dish. Oh, Lily looks like she stole it. That's a turnover. Well done, Wally. They're going to come out to the right. Oh, nice crash play. Good game. Good support. Maintaining possession. Here we go up the right-hand side again. Ball comes out to the wing. Oh, nice line break. Ball stays in. Ball is a knockdown there. That's unfortunate. Uh, Swans pick up the ball. Tackle made. Ball is down. Ball is going to come out to the right. Lots of pressure on that fly half. That was about a seven meter loss. Ball's coming out again. Oh, there's a box kick into space. Lily almost got that one clean. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not Lily, that's the winger. Nice counter kick. Let's see what the Wally defense can do here. Okay, good, tied him up. There's a uh, off low. I think we got an offsides penalty against Wally here. So the ref is playing advantage. No reason to stop the game if things are working well for the team that gets a penalty awarded to them. Additional penalty. Ball's gonna come out wide. Oh, she cuts back in, right into three Wally defenders. Uh, nearly got tied up and lost the ball. She did well to keep the possession there. Crash play, good tackle. Okay, we still have a penalty advantage, but there's a knock on, so now we're gonna come back to one of the penalties somewhere back here. I think that was for offsides. Yep, that's what the ref is indicating. So uh, Swans are gonna kick directly into touch and then win the line out if all goes the way they're hoping. Yep, so that ball is gonna be right uh, Oh, I don't know, five meters or so inside the 22. So Wally's are uh, getting backed up to their goal line. They're going to look to spoil the line out and then grab possession if they can. Let's see how this goes. Okay, there's an infraction in the line out. So this will be scrum to Wally. So this is the second scrum. The first one held together pretty well. Uh, Wally got pushed back a bit, but was able to maintain good possession of the ball. Uh, scrum half was under a lot of pressure. So let's see what happens this time. The ball's in, hooked back nicely. Ball's out, nice and clean. Here's a kick from Ida. Inside center today. Very nice clearing kick, very nice. So the ball dribbled out just about, oh, it looks like eight or 10 meters short of the halfway line. So that was an excellent kick to relieve pressure and Wally's created uh, possession for space. So the line out, as uh, rugby fans would know, is uh, basically a, a jump ball that provides an advantage to the team that gets to throw in. You do have to throw the ball right down the middle of the tunnel 
to provide an equal opportunity for both sides to compete for the ball. Uh, you cannot fake the throw, which is the free kick penalty that uh, <laughs> that the Swans uh, just committed. So that's a free kick to Wally. They cannot kick the ball out on the full and maintain possession. Uh, I'd imagine what's going to happen is they're going to run a play, a tap and go to one of the forwards. Here we go. Now, she didn't kick the ball through the mark, so that's a free kick over to the Swans. That was uh, unfortunate. You do have to tap the ball forward with your foot and then pick it up and play it to uh, restart from a free kick. So now uh, Swans are going to do the same thing, tap and go to one of their forwards. Nice tackle. Yep. Ball comes out. Another crash play to pack. That's a bit of a line break there. She made three, four meters the hard way. There's another big run forward. Makes one meter. Ball's out again. One more crash play. That's three phases right now. Oh, that was a flat one. It looked like a forward pass. Yep. Pass being called forward by the ref. Not quite flat enough, it would seem. So this will be scrum to Wally. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not keeping stats at the moment, but this will be, I think, the third uh, put in for Wally. And they were able to get the ball out uh, relatively cleanly twice, so they, they've won each of their put-ins. Thousand. Oh, scrum collapsed. Okay. Uh, looks like the ref said that Wally's side fell down first to bring the scrum down. That's a major penalty. So uh, interesting choices for for Swans. Looks like they're going to kick the touch and try and uh, have the line out from the sideline. Yep, that's straight into touch right about the 22. So they gained... Uh, Oh, nine meters or so there. 11 meters with the spot. Now the Swans line out uh, has not been particularly smooth or effective just yet. Now we're 10 minutes into the game, so this is just a matter of uh, everybody's still warming up a little bit, I think. There we go. That's a nice clean line out into a mall. Okay, it might be hard for everybody to see, but the ball is being passed backwards there, and the Swans are driving, driving, driving. Okay, now we have a ruck, the ball's on the ground. Turnover, it's now Wally Ball. Yep, there's a quick run. Wally Ball, here comes a relieving kick from Ida. Nice kick, long. Oh, right over somebody's head, and dribbles out to touch, beautiful. So that was a 40 meter gain by Ida. Well done to relieve the pressure of the Swans attack. This will be a line out Swans, but all the way back towards uh, midfield, just you know, five or seven meters in the Wally half. Looks like we have a Four jumper line out, four person line out here today. Let's see where this goes. Oh, that looked clean. Ball hit the ground, scooped up by Swans. Ball's coming out, crash play. Oh, no, the ball goes out to the backs on the floor. There's a knock on there. Not sure if the ref spotted that. Looks like the ref did not. Uh, hard to say for sure from here, but that did look like a knot. Only the video will tell. Swans are doing a nice job protecting the ball in, in their rucks. They've only had the ball stolen from them once or twice here. Oh, nice dish in traffic. Good, good charge with the center coming in. Ball's out to the right again. Oh, that's definitely not unfortunate. 
Okay, no advantage in the knock-ons from to gold. So it's a beautiful rugby day on Saturday. Again, the pitch is dry, uh, a little burned out and rough in the middle. Uh, nice, cool weather. So no one's using any extra energy to keep warm and cold today. It's perfect rugby weather. Also a perfect day for an excellent meal at the Lazy Fox. And of course, a beverage afterwards at the Aussie Bar. Penalty. And a quick ball out. That looks like Lily. Yep. She's got support. Well, gets it out wide. Liliana keeps it up. Nice safe play. Excellent advance there on a the quick tap. There's Ida running up a little bit. Let's go, let's go. Hard to see from where I'm at exactly because of the bloody speeders, but. Oh, penalty. Can't quite see what that penalty was. It may have been offsides, but it's hard to say. Okay, looks like Edith's going to uh, kick for touch so they can get as close as possible to the Swans try line for their lineup. The ball stays in, it's well played. Oh, excellent jackal, excellent turnover by Wally. Oh, but fumbled into touch. The Wally number nine fumbled into touch. That's unfortunate. So it'll be line out right by the 22 for the Swans. Number nine today is Elisa Corhanen. Uh, full apologies for my terrible pronunciation of Finnish words and names. Okay, nice clean line out into a mall. So I seem to like the idea of a mall. They're bringing extra people in. Oh, they pushed through nicely there. They got about 10 meters on that mall before it went down. Ball out to the right, out to the backs. Luke with a, ooh. Good hit. Oh, that's an, uh, that's an unusual call. Uh, okay, so free kick to Wally. Uh, what the ref said was the runner uh, left her feet and jumped into the tackler, like literally threw her body at the tackler. Not allowed. Oh, there's Lily running up the edge again. Okay, clean enough. Water ball. Good rock by Wally, keeps the ball. Nice dish, nice line break. Ball's gonna come out. Oh, penalty for diving over the ball. Or not, maybe that was not coming in the ruck uh, straight. Uh, to enter a ruck, you have to come in like really directly over the ball, no angle whatsoever. Okay, another clean phase. Whoa. Okay, the ref is getting uh, <laughs> vocal in his criticism of calling penalties. He might be, uh, he might be issuing warnings here soon. Yeah, there's a little talking to, explaining what the problem is. Now, one of the primary uh, roles of a ref in the game is to ensure player safety. So if he sees things he doesn't like, play gets a little bit dangerous. Uh, it's at least a penalty. Uh, the refs, generally speaking, really do explain what the problem is and then expect better of the players thereafter. So Swans are taking a moment to chat. And as the ref points out, this is not a conference. Let's get back to it, please. 
Okay, he is going to kick for touch. There we go. And Hickey, man with the flag. Spots that ball about halfway, halfway between the 22 and the try line, which uh, if I'm in good math would make it roughly uh, 11 or 12 meters out. So Wally line out. Uh, nice attacking position here. If Wally can bring the ball down cleanly, uh, they should have some nice options. And they're in a good position, threatening to score. Oh, the number one, straight to the prop. Okay, here comes the ball out. Crash play, gains a meter or two. Now he's got the ball. Okay, the ball's coming out wide. Oh, high tackle there. That looked a little high. Not dangerous, but high. Bob's got the ball. She's a tough runner. Nicely done, Bob. Makes a few hard meters. Ball comes out to the right. That's Julia. Oh, wow, the defense is stiffening a little bit there. Here comes the ball again. Nice possession here so far for Wally. Keeping the ball, keeping the pressure up. Oh, it looks like there's a turnover in there. Looks like Swans had the ball. Let's look for a... A kick to relieve pressure. Nope. They're holding on to it. It's a little risky. At some point, they're going to want to kick this ball out. Oh, the Swans do have an overload on the, on the right-hand side. Uh, penalty advantage. Something happened. Or perhaps the ref is just telling everybody to stay on the side. He'd keep his arm out longer if there's a penalty. Okay, nice game by Swans. They're close to the 22. Yeah, a lot of teams kick when they're in their own 22. Uh, Swans are backing themselves by trusting that they won't knock on and turn the ball over the throw. Awkward play. Ball goes all the way out across. There's more players to the outside. Okay. <laughs> the referee pointed out that this is not American football and we will not allow passes forward. Minor infraction, uh, passing the ball forward, so that means scrum the gold. Our referee today is uh, evidencing his, uh, his sense of humor. Makes for a more interesting day, I'm sure. Crouch by and set, the ball goes in. Swans are pushing a bit. The ball still comes out clean to Wally. Oh, she's through. Nice line break there. That's a try, well done. So the wing, uh, number 14, uh, that's Nelly. Uh, instead of lining up on the right, she lined up in the middle of the backs to put an extra player on that side, created an overload, and had a really nice run. Uh, a little bit of a swooping, swerving run to find a lane. Uh, broke a couple tackles and was able to dot the ball down. Uh, a little closer to the sideline than the post, so this is a tricky kick. Uh, but Julia's got a pretty strong boot. She has a very good chance of converting this. So that's five points right now. It's eight middle. And let's see if Yulia can convert. Well struck. It's through. Okay, so uh, five for the try, three for the previous penalty kick, two for the conversion. Uh, if my math is any good, that's 10 mil Wally. Uh, there hasn't really been any stoppage time, so we're a little more than halfway through the first half.
So as we're getting reset here for the next um, the next restart, we should talk about Lazy Fox, which is delicious, delicious food, and uh, one of our sponsors here at Warriors Rugby Helsinki. And the Aussie Bar, our favorite place to drink Guinness, amongst other things. And Jeff, if you're watching, try that long curl recipe. It's the best you're going to get not living in Finland. Okay, here's our kickoff. Well struck, fairly deep. Caught cleanly. Nice run there, takes two to tackle the prop. Oh, the ball was stolen very quickly. That was a well done by, uh, I can't get a number. That looks like the Swans number eight. Bit of a line break there. Oh, she's through. Down to the fullback to stop her. Well done, Yuli, on the tackle. Okay. Penalty not rolling away. Free kick. Nope, it's still the penalty. I think he's showing us the free kick signal for a second there. So they're going to do a tap and go. They need to remember to tap this time before they go. So this should be a, a crash ball play to one of the forwards. It looks like they have a more complicated play where they know what their next two or three things are going to be. Okay, there's the tap and go. Straight to one of the big runners. The prop. Okay, ball's going to come out. Nice and clean, we're going right. Oh, she's over. Is she held up? Yeah. Try awarded. Well done. Okay, so that's five to ten. So uh, uh, the number three prop for Swans, uh, after an initial carry, recycled and went way wide. So they had a big player on the outside, a big power player. And uh, she was able to push through two or three defenders, get into the try zone, and eventually touch the ball down. Uh, as we know, uh, unlike American football, it's not getting across the line that makes a score. It's touching the ball down after you cross the line. Uh, as we also know, uh, you do the conversion kick uh, as close or as far as you like, but in a line straight out from where the ball gets touched down. So uh, tries in the corner are much harder to convert and get the uh, two-point conversion kick. Uh, this is a pretty tough angle. If she's a right-footed kicker, and it looks like she's lining up as if she is, uh, this is a pretty tough poke. Uh, well struck, but well short. Five for the Swans, ten for Wally, and it looks like we're 30 minutes into a 40-minute half. So we've got about 10 or 12 minutes uh, to play before halftime here. Tight contest so far. Uh, not a lot of knock-ons today. Pretty clean ball, good possession. Uh, both teams have stolen the ball a little bit from each other, but not much. Uh, scrums have consistently gone to the side that puts in, although Wally's been under a little pressure there. And uh, there's been some nice, nice line breaks and strong runs. Okay, so uh, not a clean take, but not a knock-on. Swans get the ball. They're back on their own 22 now. They're going to look to run it out. No gain there. Oh, she broke through at the end of that. Swans still have the ball. Goes to number 10 out to the backs. Oh, the center cuts in and takes a pretty big hit. Another face for the Swans here. Oh. Okay, a bit of a knock on there. Not handled very cleanly by the Swans. Scrum to Wally right inside the 22. Excellent attacking position for her, Wally. Now this is an interesting place to have a scrum because the, uh, 
the weak side actually has enough room. So we could see an, uh, an eight-man pickup uh, and a run to the weak side with the eight-man, the run forward, the nine, and the wing, which would be about a four and two over there to pay off for that. But we got a penalty here. Not pushing straight. Oh, Lily went for the quick tap. The ref's not allowing that. A lot of times the ref doesn't allow the quick, the quick tap if they're busy explaining uh, something to someone. If they can't see that they, uh, the tap and go was done in the right place and in the right way, a lot of times they just call the ball back. But that's backwards. Play on. Scrum half with the ball. Oh, looks like uh, looks like there's a turnover there. Swans are going to be able to relieve some pressure here. And I don't I don't see these guys kicking very much. I think they're going to try and run it out. Okay, that was a big sideways run, but it was out towards some space. And another forward pass. So scrum to Wally. About the middle of the pitch, right about the 22 again. So again, interesting position. Uh, for the ball. Now, since the Wally are putting the ball in on the left-hand side of the scrum, and the open side of the field is the right, uh, it's a little harder to go weak uh, back towards the opposing scrum half. So it seems a little less likely that that's going to happen. The ref looks happy with that scrum so far. Oh, eight-man pickup weak. Which isn't easy to do. Nice play. Love to see that. Ball's out to the wing. That looked like a bit of a high tackle. Touch. So the Swans were able to bundle the attacking Wally wing. So that was 14, I think. So that's Nelly again. I think she got bundled in the touch, so it's going to be line out Swans. And we're. Yeah, we still got about seven or eight minutes to go. Wally is definitely going to want to try and get another score in if they can in this half. And Swans, of course, are probably looking to level things up. The Swans Mall has been pretty effective. It's not a tactic we've seen an awful lot of this. Uh, this season. Oh, nice crash ball. Okay, that was big. Okay, a couple things happened there. Uh, we had a big line break with a nice pass to the inside. Uh, big hit from uh, really at the fullback. Uh, disrupted things enough to force the uh, Swans runner back to the inside where there was more defenders. Uh, after that tackle, we had uh, some swans leaving their feet, so penalty Wally. That's a mall right now. Her knees are down, so now it's a ruck. People need to roll away. Yep, not rolling away. Swans number eight uh, needed to make a bigger effort to get away from the ball and she just really didn't roll away at all. So that's going to be a penalty, and that should give uh, our inside center, Ida, a nice chance to gain some yardage, kick the ball straight out for a line line out. Ball stays in play, not taken cleanly, but not a knock on. Tackled by the wing. Quick pick and go by the Swans number 10. Ball's out again. Oh, nice. Big hit and a knock-on force there. That's going to be a scrum to Wally. Unless I'm mistaken. Big hit forced that knock-on. Big hit. Made me cringe from all the way over here.
and our ref is explaining things to the Swans number five. Not sure what the conversation was about. Okay, everybody is in position. Catch binds up, balls in. This one looks a little more stable, balls out. Okay, inside crash ball to Bob. Nice line break there. He makes a nice yardage. Rally ball, we go left again. Back inside, very nice. Okay, still Wally Ball, another phase here, ball's out left. Nice tackle by Swans, possession is still Wally, here's another phase. No real gain there, I hear a whistle. Oh, obstruction is called. Uh, you can't cut behind one of your own players and make it uh, even theoretically more difficult for a defender to tackle you. Uh, that's obstruction, that's a full penalty, so uh, Swans will kick the touch. The ball stays in. Oh, but it's a knock-on. So, uh, I think it's just going to be a scrum to... Yeah, uh, there's no option in that. that, that that's a scrum to blue. Uh, some of the rules are a little complex about uh, when a team has an option to uh, kick for touch or take the scrum. Uh, either they didn't get an option or they just said scrum right away, but this is a scrum with blue. Let's see what happens. Ball's in. Ooh, Wally with a big drive. Very hot. Oh, ball's out. Sloppy, but it's out. That scrum was under a lot of pressure. There's a pass. Ball's coming outside a little bit. Wally defense is a little narrow. Ooh, nice pickup by Yulia. Knock on called by the ref. Scrum the yellow. So the Wally defense was a little narrow there. The Swans had space outside, but opted to run inside instead. Uh, along the way, there was a knock on. So uh, one more scrum. Not a lot of space on the right, but still a nice option to run with. Okay. Not pushing straight, pushing up. You're not supposed to lift the scrum, you're supposed to push straight across. Okay, so Swans are going to kick the touch and then get the line out. Okay, not the best kick, not the worst. It's good for about 15 meters. Uh, I think most players uh, would agree that the smart thing to do with the penalty kick is not try and get every last bit uh, of field position, but make quite sure that the ball goes out so it's your line out because there's a big advantage there. So we've got a four person line out. Here comes the ball. In straight enough. Ball goes out to the number 10. She takes it up. Past the back door. A crash play. Good tackle there. By Wally, number 10. Clean ball so far. Turnover. Nope. That's hands of the ruck. Okay. Now, this is a very kickable uh, for post position. Oh, okay. That was an unfortunate kick by the Swans. The ball did not go straight out. It hit the ground first, so it's going to be Wally line out. Unless they change the rules, then I'm behind on that notion. Well, I guess it is still, uh, still Swans. Yep, just one more rule change I'm not fully aware of. Oh, nice take, nice clean lineup. They go to the mall. Seems to be their go-to off of clean lineup. Oh, she's through. Oh, nice dish inside. 
to a big strong honor. Oh, lost the ball, but not forward. Oh, there's a knock on. Unfortunate. Just bad luck there. Bad luck. Okay, so Swans are threatening. There's not much time left in the half. Maybe three or four minutes, possibly less. Hard to say uh, how much time we have here. But this is a scrum to Wally who are going to look to uh, cleanly win the ball and get the heck out of their own territory. We should look for a relieving kick from uh, Ida that, with any luck at all, will get, uh, get the ball well past the 22. So here's the put in. Okay, oh, nice blindside run to Lily. Nicely done. Oh, excellent penalty to Wally. It's their advantage. It's their advantage. Here's a clearing kick. Okay, that'll do. Okay, the ref is still playing advantage for that penalty. That's good news. Okay, uh, sounds like the ref is saying that the call was for a high tackle. Uh, again, uh, you have to tackle basically armpits in, in below or else you risk a penalty. And if you do anything that's uh, egregious or serious or, or dangerous, then the expectation is that there's going to be a yellow card. Uh, the ball is away. And it looks like I have to get it. Okay. The call is in. Five for the line out. Oh, spoiled. So Swans were able to take that, uh, take that line on and win it. That's unfortunate for Wally. Bit of a line break there. Number five for Swans, got it four or five meters. Ball's out, but the defense is ready. Oh, Ida shot through, almost, almost made a big tackle. Unfortunately, the number 10 uh, advanced almost to the try line. That's a pick and go. Let's see if she gets held up. Nope, she's outside of the try zone. No try. Another pick and go. That's a try. Hard to see what was going on in all of that, but that's a try. Just before halftime, too. So it'll be interesting to see that on the replay. It looked like one of the Wally defenders uh, kind of ran up and made an aggressive attempt to tackle in the backfield that created just a little space for a, a slippery number 10 from Swans to uh, wiggle through and make some gains. And then a few phases later, after a, a tough defense and a couple denials, uh, one of the forwards from Swans was able to touch the ball down. So here comes the kick. Bit of a chip shot, really, but we haven't seen uh, the Swans kick very much. Yep, that's true. So, halftime. And the score is now 12 for the Turku Swans and 10 for Wally. So it's halftime. We're going to take a break here for a minute. I'm going to see if I can stir up some finished coffee, which will, as we all know, wake the dead.
We should have about 10 minutes or so before the game uh, turns back on. Now's an excellent time to plan the rest of your afternoon. Come on down and see the next game here at 2. Or head off to the Lazy Fox for some delicious uh, afternoon snacks and breakfast anytime. Uh, or beverages and really the best chicken wings I've had since I've been to Finland at uh, the Aussie Bar. Home of the best Guinness in Helsinki. Back in a few.
Okay, and we're back for the kickoff. The refs were not as fast to the pitch as the players. Touch judge on the far side was a little upset that he didn't get to finish his coffee, but them's the breaks. I'm not going to finish my makara. I'm going to get over it. And here's the kick. Bit of a line drive. Clean enough, Marley ball. It is Swans 12. Two tries and a conversion to Wally 10. Penalty kick and a converted try. There's a turnover to Swans. Looks like ball's going left. The Swans attack through their uh, through their, their pack with their crash ball has been pretty effective. They, uh, they keep the ball in their game leaders. Get the ball out wide. Uh, looks like that's a knock on. Heard the whistle. Yep, that's going to be a scrum to Wally. Okay, first scrum of the second half. Ball's in. Little bouncy, they go short side. Nice game, three passes. Oh, bundled into touch. It's going to be a line out to uh, Swans, I would imagine. Let's see what uh, the touch judge indicates. Yep. Line out to blue. So a couple things uh, need to happen in a line out. One, the ball needs to go right down the middle. Yep, you can't grab somebody's arms. And you can't defend the person until they land on the ground again. So that's called a maul when the ball stays uh, off the ground and one side tries to drive the ball forward. Uh, wow, uh, that was a 20 meter maul. Very effective, ball comes out for the Swans. They're right down by the try line again. Trying to quick crash play. Uh, six or eight meters out from the try line. Hard to, hard to tell how close. Ball comes out. Oh, there's an advantage. Penalty advantage, it looks like the blue. Probably offsides. Oh, scrum half keeps it herself and gets buried. Oh, uh, the ref uh, looks like he's injured himself. Yep, the ref's come up lame. Uh, it looks like he either twisted his foot or has a little trouble with his calf. That's unfortunate. We're going to take a little time out to look after him and uh, it looks like he's going to get subbed out we'll see fortunately uh, we have another official on the sidelines who can come back in oh he's getting the cold spray perhaps he turned his angle unfortunate to say the least Well, I have to admit, this is the first time I've seen uh, a ref go down in the line of duty. Uh, certainly a ref can get uh, uh, run over or caught up in uh, 
in, in play from time to time. Uh, but since most refs are old rugby players, uh, they're wash and wear. However, uh, a step in a hole on a pitch can bust up anybody's foot pretty badly. So that's just unfortunate. Not sure what we're going to do here. Okay. Uh, looks like we're going to continue here in just a second. Okay, and the ref gets clapped off with an injury. Again, I've never seen this before. Uh, unfortunate to say the least, hopefully his uh, split will heal up quick and it won't be anything seriously. But he is limping around. Okay, game on. Crash ball, gained a few meters, falls out. Uh, ball goes out wide, little sloppy. Lost a lot of ter territory there. Wally, uh, oh, Wally on the steal. Excellent steal. I think that was Lily who's just fearsome over the ball. Uh, tackled around the neck, though. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, stolen back by Swans. There's a crash play to the short side of the field to the right. They maintain possession, but now they're basically back at the 22. So the Swans have a bit of ground to uh, try and link back up. Oh, hard run. Runs about three, four meters. Okay, balls out to the backs. Oh, caught the ball standing still. That doesn't help. Nice tackle by uh, either the Wally Center. Ball comes out weak again to their number eight. She's a tough runner. Another quick phase, looks left, yep. Oh, big hit, but a good offload. Hard to see from this angle what's going on. Still Swan's ball. Ball's out to the strong side. That goes to another one of the I think they're number five. Oh, ball went forward, but she grabbed it back. Not sure how that worked. Ball's out to the strong side here. Not played cleanly, but no knock on. Tackle all the way, ball comes back. Oh, nice, spider wing forward on the defense, no gain. Swans are maintaining possession, that's hard to do. Ball comes out again. Okay, they're using the back line a bit more. Oh, good stiff arm by number four. And then Swans, nice gain there. That's why you tackle low. Don't let someone stand you up and push you around. Another pot attack to the prop. She gets a couple meters. Okay, ball is available. Ball's out right. Short game. And Pierre, the Frenchman, is in the house. Oh, ball's out. Ball's out wide. Okay, good support to Keep possession. This is like 10, 12 phases this year. Swans have kept the ball for quite a while. All he needs to force a, a mistake, get that ball back, and remove some pressure here. Oh, she kept her feet and was able to move forward four or five meters there. Uh, ball's pretty close to the Wally tie line. Excellent defense by number seven on Wally. Looks like another crash play left. Yep. Let's get a few more pick and goes. Yep. Yeah, I think a couple more pick and goes are just going to try and force their way in. And another meter there. Hard flat meters down by the try line. And she's in. Yep. Okay, that looked like number uh, four. 
in the second row for the Swans. So we're now at 17-10 Swans with the conversion kick to come. Uh, pretty tough angle for the kick. Let's see how that goes. Okay, our match official is gimping across the field while we wait for uh, the Swans hooker to take a poke at this. Well, see the ball. Yep. Penalty for driving over the ball as uh, a Swan dove to the dirt to try and save possession after uh, a really good attempted jacket, which is to say stealing the ball in the rough. Nice run forward for a few meters by the number three. Okay, ball goes out nice and wide to Julia. She's a tough runner. She hits about the game line. Holly keeps the ball here. There's a nice crash play to half number one. Okay, not releasing. Not only did he hurt himself, now he can't find his whistle, and I think there's tears in his eyes. I hate to think what this man might lose if it wasn't physically connected to him. Okay, let's get back to the game here. Oh, there's a turnover. Uh, it was a nice wally attack, but in, uh, in contact, the ball just popped out, and uh, Swans grabbed it. Uh, right at the halfway point, Swans... Uh, and running pods, they were uh, attacking with their, their pack players for the most part. Uh, when they get the ball out a little wider, there's a bit of space there. Oh, nice offload. That one was not forward. It was a nice pass. Uh, are we bundled into touch there? Looks like they're running in touch, so that's going to be a wide line out. Okay, so we don't actually have a touch judge on the far side, I'm understanding. Okay, the ball's out nice and clean to Wiley. We'll eat it with some space. She's a dangerous runner and she gets a little bit of room. Okay, nice rock. Check the ball nicely. Okay, that was, a, that was a really good steal. Um, there's this thing when you run the ball uh, that you want to make sure you don't do. You want to not fall down in front of someone who can steal the ball. You want to protect possession. And unfortunately, uh, the Wally uh, prop didn't quite have enough help or support. And she did go down right in front of a defender who was on her feet who was able to quickly jackal the ball. Yeah, uh, after all of that fun stuff happened, we had a knock on, scrum to go. Okay, so uh, scrums have been uh, like fairly even. There hasn't been any dramatic uh, disruptions in scrums. Uh, yeah, there have been some penalties for not driving straight, as our, our former match official <laughs> uh, pointed out. Uh, it's actually great to have him here because 
no one sees the game better than uh, the ref. Uh, of course, nobody's perfect. People miss things. Sometimes you're not in position to see everything. But that aside, the ref really truly is in the best position to see what's going on in the game. They really are. So there's a bunch of stuff that uh, he can share with us that he saw uh, in the game that we wouldn't be able to notice from our, our spot on the sidelines. Ball's out. Oh, big throw wide. There's a little space out there, but that was not a clean pass. Oh, here's space. Get the ball to the outside. Bring her up the sideline. She runs back in. Takes it back in nicely. Good support there. Ball out. Possibly offsides, but the ref seems to be okay with it. Crash play to the front. Tackle made. Good support there. Wilder's protecting the ball a little better right now. Oh, a little bit of space for Lily. She's a dangerous runner. Off the bob now. And she's got a runner to the outside. That's a clean breakaway. She should get all the way under the posts. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful run to the outside. Try awarded to, I believe, number 14. I think she's got both of them. So I think that's Nelly with try number two. And since uh, the ball was placed very close to the post, uh, that's a easy chip shot, uh, one would hope, for Yulia. Uh, it's a straight on kick. And she works really, really hard at, uh, at her kicks. So she has a high likelihood of making this happen. So it's 15-17 at the moment. Looks like a tie game in 17. Very exciting. This is a tough match. Hard fought. Uh, close score. Um, the first half was a little, uh, a little raggedy with uh, with the penalties uh, for the Swans, but it seems like they've they've settled down quite a bit. Uh, Wally had a few penalties as well, to be fair. Uh, but as the second half is is shaping up, everybody seems to be. Uh, tightening up their game uh, quite a bit. We're also uh, seeing, I think, some of the effects of the tremendous effort it takes to play this game for 40 minutes. Uh, we're starting to see a little more uh, open running room uh, for both teams, which uh, I would attribute to the fact that it's just really, really hard uh, to get in the proper position to defend uh, fast enough after you've only been doing it for 40 or 60 minutes. So we're about 15 minutes into this uh, half. I think we got about 20, 25 to go. And here comes the kick from the Swans. Nice high kick. Rita catches it nice and uh, nice and clean. Makes a nice counter attack. Passes the ball outside. That looks like Lily. She's got uh, space and support. Ball goes all the way out to the far side and then comes back in, avoids the sideline. Second phase. Oh, Clara takes a big hit from somebody in blue, but she's all right. Ball's going to come out wide. Oh, Bob cuts back in. Oh, looks for support, but a errant pass goes to blue. Ball out, quick tackle. Clara almost did a jack of that. Swan's ball, they go right. No support there. Oh, there's a little support. There wasn't much support there. That was a nice chance to steal the ball, perhaps. Swans are running sideways quite a bit. Yeah, they're looking for space, but they're not finding it just yet. Okay, that's a quick pick and go. It's good for three, four meters to high go. Looks like they're about seven or eight meters out from the try line. Hard to tell from here. They're going to pick and go until they lose the ball, I'm guessing. That's going to be a penalty for not rolling away. Sometimes you just get stuck. And even if you want to roll away, you can't really. The more you look like you're rolling away, the, 
and, and you should, right? So the, the, yeah, the, the more you try and the more you look like you're rolling your own way. So you have something uh, with dead fish. So if you're just doing that on the floor, like a dead fish, it's not actively rolling, you're just kind of flapping. Yeah, so we look at that and we finish that. But if you look like you're actually attempting to make a distance back to you. Why don't you say all of that again, but into the microphone? Yeah, okay, so for the rolling away, you actively have to look like you're rolling away from the play. You can't just lie there and wobble like a dead fish. So as referees, we look for that. If you're actively rolling out, you will not penalize. If you are, just sitting there, you get the penalty. And that's a try there for Tulku. Yep, meanwhile, uh, a couple nice quick and goes. Uh, a restart for uh, Turco, a couple quick uh, phases, and we were able to dock the ball down. Uh, that is the bonus point. They've scored enough tries. Uh, so whatever the outcome is, they'll get a bonus point on uh, top of uh, one for playing and three for winning. Right? Something like that. It's one for a And I think finish for seven, I think, is the bonus point for losing time. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're not sure how the bonus points for league standing works, and frankly, that's not my concern in this moment. Uh, right now, let's see if, uh, if the Turku prop, I'm sorry, Booker, not the same, uh, can uh, tap that ball over the upright. Knuckleball, uh, online, but a little bit short. Yeah, it was a... We have the best seats in the house, and we can't see. We don't have the best seats in the house. <laughs> it's, it's damn difficult to see what's going on in, in certain uh, parts of the, you know, the pitch from, from the announcer's booth uh, here. Uh, pretty well struck ball. It just didn't quite go high enough or far enough. It was online, uh, but it's got to be online, tall enough, and far enough to earn that uh, two points. So here's the restart. Uh, we're just going to do a uh, drop kick and we'll see what happens. Okay, nice high kick. Taking cleanly. Oh, big hit uh, by Lily on the hooker there. Took her to ground. Uh, Took has got the ball. Crash but Oh, Lily with another big hit. Hot off the ball. Lily's not the biggest player out there, but she hits as hard as anybody I've ever seen in women's rugby. Okay, Turku's uh, doing nice clean phases, as they are wanted to do. Uh, oh, number 10 gets cracked. Lost the ball, but caught it again, dished it off. Uh, they're advancing here. Oh, Claire almost got the jackal. Ball's going to come out right on the crash play. Lily assisting on the tackle there, ball out right. Cooper keeps running, running. Crash balls to the Packers. Yep, this goes to the 10 this time. A lot of sideways running here, they're using up their space. Oh, good offload. A little bit of room on the side, that should be a jackal. Nope, not gonna happen. Okay, so when two players are opposing each other over the ball, that's a rock. And it becomes a push of war, and you can't use your hands until that contest is essentially won. And if you're in the rock, uh, hands have to be used by somebody that's not you. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much what happened there. So uh, nice relieving kick from Yulia. Oh, she almost makes the tackle on her own kick. Um, oh, ball's out. All right, I can tell that there's a penalty, but I can't tell what it's for. Not rolling away. Uh, when you make a tackle, you have to uh, release the other player and then roll away. Uh, interestingly enough, um, uh, our, <laughs> our wounded warrior uh, still has his microphone on so he can uh, hear what the calls are and he's uh, kindly feeding the information to me so I can share it with you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, 
So he's he's doing a job, just not the job that he was presumably paid to do today. <laughs> oh, you don't get paid here. Never mind. Well, there's no amount of pay that would make reckoning really worth it. Um, of course, you do it because you love it. Okay, nice, uh, nice take on the line out. Uh, ball's gonna come out. Up goes to the backs again. That was a nice pass. Really lots of space out there. Big overlap. Well, that might have been a little bit high on the tackle. Looks like we're okay. Yeah, so uh, Swans keep running inside when they have an overload outside. Uh, the score should be potentially a little higher for the Swans uh, because they're just not using some of the opportunities that they're creating for themselves. So when you're running the ball, if you get a little isolated, you run inside uh, to where your support is. If you have more attackers than they have defenders, you don't necessarily want to run back in towards more defense. There's other things you should do to try and create a better opportunity for the attack. Uh, speaking of which, we're now 10 meters out. Uh, Wally has got their back up against the wall. Ball's a little slow to come out here. Here it comes. Another crash play, no particular game. Well supported in the ruck. Uh, Swan's ball again. Here we go, another crash play. Oh, goes out to the 10. One step in, good tackle though, good support from the inside by the volley prop. Yep, and just another phase. Uh, looks like they're gonna do crash ball inside. They're close enough to wanna do crash balls until they score, I'm guessing. So we need to see, oh, I was about to say, we need a penalty or a knock on, and uh, Wally, Gets a penalty, it looks like not released yet. Okay, ball out to Wally. Get it. Ooh, gets it out wide, nice little game. Good dish inside, back to Lily. She's a dangerous runner. Okay, she's still held up in a mall. Now malls are malls are tricky. You gotta make something happen in the mall or it turns out to be a scrum to the other side. So uh, Wally right now is gonna try to either move forward or get the ball to the ground. The ball is to the ground, ah, but not fast enough. So a scrum is gonna be awarded to the Swans. Uh, the mall is an interesting thing. So everyone's on their feet and it's a pulling and pushing uh, battle. And on defense, all you really have to do is stop the ball from moving and not let the other team bring the ball to the ground, uh, which is exactly what the Swans did, so now they're awarded with the scrum. Uh, the attacking team in a, in a mall basically gets punished for not making progress. So uh, there's a certain particle of risk involved in uh, committing to a mall when it's your ball. Ball's in. Falls out. Oh, a lot of pressure on that fly half. No real game. Looks like they keep the ball. Little disjointed on the reset, but it looks like there was a pot available. Another phase. Ball's going to go out a little wider. Swans are putting some of their bigger players on the outside uh, to try and find mismatches in defense. Oh. Oh, this is a breakaway. This is a breakaway. She's looking for help. Oh, mercy. Oh. We have a knock on. This is going to go back to gold. Oh, no, first knock on was yellow. Boy, I can't wait to see that on the replay. So beautiful steal by Ida. Big run up the middle. And it looked like she was going to get caught from behind. She started looking for support to throw the ball. Uh, to perhaps a, a faster runner coming in in pace. And that quite didn't uh, work out the way we would hope. But very exciting gain of 60 meters? 65. So uh, Warriors all the way out of their half and a fair bit into uh, Swan's territory. 
Uh, but unfortunately, the knock on is a turnover, so it's scrum to Swans. Oh, big push by Wally. Ball's out. Ball's out. Sometimes that ball comes out a little fast and it causes problems for the scrum half. Uh, looks like Swans reacted very nicely to that. We got a 30 meter gain by uh, the number 10 from Swans. Ball squirted out, and it looks like it's going to be. Gold ball and uh, line out. Why don't we find some help for you so you can right. hobble around? Do you have a... Okay, here comes the line out throw. Okay, cleanly taken. Maybe not by design, but it's still Wally Ball. Oh, big push from the Swans there. Quick pick and go. Ball's out. Okay, ball's gonna go wide here. There's a lot of space out wide. Bob opts to run through two. She gets enough support. Here it is, weak. Two on one on the outside. Yep, back in. Excellent run by the winner. Tackle made. Good support there. Tough run by Hannah. Yeah, very nice. Did well to keep possession. Nice phase, nice attack so far. Oh, ball's a little loose out there. Looks like Wally keeps it. Oh, ball st balls to comes to handle Lily. She gets it outside. Can't tell who that is all the way by the far side. Uh, Wally's got a nice possession here. Ball's out. That's going to be a crash play or two while the back line gets reset. Swans are coming up hard on defense. Oh, strip the ball out. Good strip by the Swans in the tackle. Good turnover there. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Lily made a big hit on someone who wasn't ready for it in the ruck. Uh, didn't change the outcome, but definitely let the Swan player know she was there. Okay, ball's out. Okay, uh, goes to ground after a few trudging yards after contact. There's another kick the back. Uh, Claire at number uh, either four or five has been over the ball a bunch of times. She's going to get a jackal sooner or later. She's doing good work out there. Okay, smart play by the Swans wing to not try and catch a badly thrown ball. She played it with her feet, which is legal, and avoided a knock on and scooped it up and uh, took the ball forward into contact. And there seemed to have been a knock on after that. And uh, it's going to be a scrub the ball. Okay, I'm guessing we're about halfway through the second half. And it is uh, visitors 22, Wally Homicide 17. I think we've got about 20 minutes left. It looks like we have an injury timeout. Uh, so the water's coming on the pitch. And speaking of refreshment, Lazy Fox when you're hungry, Lazy Ball when you're thirsty. Looks like she's going to be able to continue. That's always good to see. This rugby is a tough game. It's not for everybody. Uh, it requires an awful lot of fitness. Uh, it's definitely a thinking athlete's game.
Okay, it looks like we have five minutes left in the match. Not as much time as I thought. Oh, big drive by the Swans there. Balls out for the Swans. That's the second spin they've stolen. Bit of a line break there. This is very dangerous. Nice offload. Another nice offload. Oh, the Wally defense just manages to cover. That was scary. Oh, good drive by the number 10. She's close to the try line. Dangerous territory. Swans have been quite effective down by the goal line. Looks like they got pushed back. Okay, can't tell if they're over the try line or not. It's a big mess in there. Looks like another pick and go is about to happen. Okay, she's held up. Ball's down, but backwards and got pushed back. Okay, ball's out wide now. Oh, knock on. Wow. Uh, very, very dangerous for Wally there. Uh, saved by a uh, just bad luck knockout. So Wally's got about four minutes to uh, to make something happen here. Time's running out. It's really been a fantastic contest today. So Wally needs to uh, secure the ball cleanly in the scrum and then make something happen. Okay, uh, ref not quite happy with how that scrum turned out, so he basically says do over while he put it. There's a little bit of space on the short side of the field here. So a clean take and a break up the, the weak side could be, uh, could be possible. Okay. That scrum just didn't, didn't hold together at all. Gonna have another do-over. Meanwhile, this is eating away at, uh, at our game clock. I think we probably have about two minutes left before we get into extra time. And since there weren't a lot of stoppages, there won't be a ton of that. So we're getting down to the right. Here. Oh, big push. Big push by Swans, but the ball's out clean. Really picks it up, gets the ball wide. Again, strong side, Bob's got it. Oh, beautiful run. You need a couple quick phases here before the defense can get back. You need a quick ball. Okay, ball's out. I see some people off sides here. Yep. And so did the referee. Here's a penalty. So the question is, do we have enough time to... Yeah, it looks like we still got plenty of time. We're going to get the ball out, take another line out. This needs to happen as quickly as possible. Nice boot, good game. Uh, Wally is going to have the ball in the Swans' half. Oh! It looked like, uh, well, I don't have the right angle to tell where that ball went out, but I was hoping that ball was a lot farther down the field. Oh, well. Okay, so Wally needs a clean line out there and uh, a little bit of space. One break will do. Okay, clean ball. Oh, nice clean take. She's got space, she's got space. Oh, well done. Okay, protected the ball nicely. Oh, how did that get stolen? I didn't even see how that got stolen. Oh, did not come into the ruck from the back. That's, uh, that's an unfortunate penalty for Blue, but a lifesaver for, for Gold.
Okay, not sure how much time is left, but if Wally doesn't want to kick the ball out, there might not be time for it to go out of play. So this could be their last possession. So they need to find a way to keep the ball until they score. Or uh, if, in fact, time is up and we're in extra minutes, then uh, as soon as the Swans get the ball, they'll just go out of bounds and that'll be game over. Oh, nice, nice little move by the wing. Not really moving up the field, though. At this point, possession is absolutely good. Okay, nicely done to keep the ball. Get it out wide. Base overlap. Oh, that's an interesting kick. Kick a little too far. What do we have here? A penalty for the last size? Yep, we got a penalty all the way back. Yep, penalty for offsides. So that was an interesting kick. It went perhaps a little a little too far, but there really wasn't anyone to cover it for it. So tactically it made sense, but it didn't quite set up perfectly. A lot of times when there's no one uh, covering deep, you could kick the ball and uh, still get back down there fast enough to return possession. Okay, nice attack. Okay, they're going, to the, they're going to the fast runners on the outside now. Okay, here comes the ball again. They're going to try and get this out wide. Lots of space here. Lots of space for Bob. Oh, nice tackle. That was a long shoulder grab tackle. That's not easy to pull off. Well, they just got to keep the ball and keep the pressure up. All they need is one gap for a run to run through. Oh, that's a nice recovery from a, from a dangerous bounce of the ball. Oh, huge hit by number seven. Huge hit on Claire. She's going to notice that one later. Okay, the Warriors ball still, pick and go. Oh, lost the ball. I'm not sure how much time is left. I really thought we were short on, on the clock. Okay, they don't want to bumble here in the touch, I don't think. If we're running out of time, I think they just want to try and take that ball away. Okay, the ball is going to come out left. Nope. Oh, she kicked straight out the touch. And that's the game. That's the game. We were short on time, as I was afraid. So, uh, well done, Swans. 22-17. Tough game. Very close. Uh, the Swans were able to really do a good job of keeping possession and uh, get down the field here and there. And then... Uh, just use their their path players to a big advantage uh, down at the goal line and were just relentless with their pick and goes. Uh, while he was able to defend uh, a lot of those runs, but uh, not all of them, because I think three of the trials were uh, short gains off a of pick and go. Tough match all the way around. Uh, surprisingly, the only one that got hurt today was the ref. <laughs> Apparently walking was too much for him. Uh, a lot of calf muscle uh, as he was strolling about the pitch. So, uh, as we like to talk about, rugby is a game uh, that requires uh, all participants to show a significant amount of respect uh, to each other, to their competitors, to their teammates, and to the officials. And what you're seeing now is a tradition that uh, really doesn't happen in other sports, to my knowledge. So, uh, as the home side, uh, the Wally team is uh, thanking Turkey for coming down and for uh, playing uh, a clean, hard-fought match. Uh, three cheers for the Swans, hit the parade, and we just heard that. Uh, the Swans will return the same uh, compliment. 
There very well may be a case of beer exchanged. Not uncommon. Until we meet again. So, uh, again, visitors, uh, the Tokyo Swans 22, Wally 17. Uh, we're going to take a bit of a break before uh, our next game, which should start a little bit after 2 o'clock. And that will be uh, the Tokyo Eagles against the Warriors first side. Uh, thanks, everybody, for sticking with us, and hope you enjoyed the first match. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit with uh, the men's first division game.
This side is better than that.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with game two. And here's the kickoff. Dumpy with a nice high kick. Oh, the Warriors were able to steal that. There's a knock on. Scrum to goal. 
So this afternoon, the men's first division, the Turku Eagles in blue, are here to play the Warriors. Here's our first scrum. Andre, number nine, to put the ball in. Nice stable, balls out to Tunks. Out to the back line, fullback is in, out to Krabby. Cuts back inside. Hutch sells out a little sloppy. Off the ground. Really quick phase. Pumpy with a drop kick out of the gate. That was a little knuckleball, no good. Surprised to see the drop kick right off the bat. So that's an interesting tactical move right away. Uh, that will certainly keep the Turkey defense guessing as to what the Warriors are going to do. Uh, looks like there was some sort of a knockout, so we have scrum the gold. Unstable goes to the weak side. Matthias with a nice run, well supported by the wing. Oh, ball's out a little sloppy though. Breakaway by the Turkey runner. Ah, it does not look like Krabby's going to be able to catch him. Number 10 from Turkey gets in for an easy try. Okay, so that's five points for Turku off a long breakaway by their number 10. Uh, he was able to catch an errant pass on the bounce and march all the way down the pitch. Turkey Eagles fullback lines up for the kick. He's thinking about it. Okay, that's a low knuckleball. Okay, so that's uh, five mil to the visitors from Turku. Restart. Warriors are going to drop kick to Turku as we see after the score. Nice high kick by Tumpi. Taken cleanly. Wrapped up quick. Ball comes out. Oh, blocked kick. Uh, once a kick gets blocked, it's a uh, fair ball in terms of no offsides. Uh, Toko covered that nicely, so they were able to maintain possession. Oh, driven back in the tackle there. Good defense. Okay, penalty to the Warriors. Quick tap and go. Ball's out, uh, but then a knock on. So it looks like it's going to be advantage Toko. Uh, the ball's out of the ruck. So now we have a separate tackle. Quick pick and go, well defended by Warriors. Ruff's not happy with something, there's a whistle. Okay, it looks like scrum to blue.
Okay, big push from, oh, big push from yellow. Blue having trouble getting the ball out. Yep. That's a penalty. Penalty to yellow. Okay, interesting decision for the Warriors here. Are they gonna kick the ball out to touch? They are. They wanna have a line out close to uh, the Swans try line. Oh, sorry, Eagles, wrong game. Okay, nice clean take on the line out. That's set up for a mall. Oh, nice driving mall here. Warriors maintaining momentum. They're gonna try and drive across that goal line and then put the ball down. Nice drive. Okay, the ball goes down. That's a try. Try awarded. Driving mall in for the try. Can't quite tell if you had that. It might have been Tumpy. Okay, five to five, and don't be for now for the conversion. So as we saw in the uh, earlier game, off a line out, if uh, the attacking team catches the ball and the person with the ball stays on their feet, you can then uh, drive that player forward. Uh, the Warriors were able to uh, get a little bit of momentum moving forward and, and keep it and then pass the ball between a couple different players and shift the direction uh, of their mall and uh, make a few meters, make a few meters, and eventually we're going to dot the ball down and try some. Okay, the kick did not go through, so we're at five to five. And looks like uh, we're ready for the restart. Okay, the ball gets bundled into touch. Okay, line out to the Warriors here. Oh, quick in. Okay, nice nice quick wreck there, quick ball. Crash play with the clock, hits the game line. But the ball popped forward, not placed cleanly. That's a turnover. Turkey moving quickly with the ball. That's an interesting pass. Uh, Okay, three attackers wide. They have numbers outside. Good coverage by the backs to slow that down. Create a little bit of oh, big penalty. Holding on to the ball. A lot of intensity on the pitch. Everybody wants to uh, take advantage of the penalty and move very quickly. Uh, sometimes the ref will slow that down just to keep everything flowing a little more smoothly and manageably. Okay, so, uh, oh, long kick. Did not go straight out. Touch judge did not call it out. Tumper gets the ball back on the counter kick. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> the touch judge did call it out, but he wasn't noticed to have called it out. It's his first day. It is, in fact. Okay, so the ball did apparently go out uh, play before the series of kicks. Uh, since it was a penalty kick, and it's a booming one at that, because that's a 50-meter kick by Tumpy. Uh, line out to gold. Oh, time off for the injury back here. We have... Uh, 
And we have a winger who's getting his uh, ankle taped up. Okay, so we have an injury, uh, injury timeout. Okay, he's got his boot all taped up, and uh, looks like he's going to be able to continue eventually. I must say, the total physio today is absolutely amazing. Okay, medical attention has been uh, delivered. It looks like we're going to have a sub, though. We got someone coming on, and number 11, sadly, is done for the day. Hopefully, it's put a little off. We'll be back soon. All right, at some point, he'll actually be off the field, and it'll be 15 out of 15, and we'll get the damn game going. Maybe it's not fair to pick on a guy who just hurt his foot at about the pace that he uh, leaves the pitch. Times are hot. He falls in. Oh, nice clean take by uh, Johannes, also known as Yoga Jesus. There's the mall. Sets up nicely. Falls out. Tempe with the long pass to Krabby with a little space. Krabby's got some space and help outside. Nope. There's a game behind us that isn't rugby, so we don't care. Okay, uh, nice attack. Ball should come over to the right. Oh, little space, little space. Comfy with a breakthrough. Oh, beats him inside. Had a lot of help outside, but we wanted to keep it. Okay, this is crash ball. But it goes outside the jack who is in the try Nope, oh, not quite in the try zone. There we go, quick try in the corner. Well played. Jack did well to get the ball back, and uh, Andre number nine, quick service to the wing who was wide open, and really for the easy down down, because he wasn't being marked. The intensity of this, uh, this game, the pace is, uh, it's really quite surprising. Uh, hard running, balls coming in super fast for both teams. We're uh, 10 minutes in and this is the third try. Should be an exciting match. Uh, Tokyo's a pretty strong team, so I would expect a fair bit of scoring for both sides today. Something with a tough conversion, plenty of distance, not quite on that. Uh, 15 to 5 is our score. Well, it's thirsty work talking about rugby all day. I'm going to go to A and B and have the best Guinness available in Helsinki. Okay, we got a restart coming up. That'll be a drop out from Turkey. And let's see how this goes. Oh, nice high kick. Uh, not quite cleanly taken. That's a little risky. Yep, Andre cleans it up but gets buried. So the scrum is in under all of that. Scrum half seen under all that mess. Oh, ball came out quickly away. Crash play. Yep, uh, prop threw it back to the inside. It's gonna be another one. Nope, oh, goes out to the 10. Coming wide. Oh, 
Oh, that was a nice try. It was not easy to see if they were going to make that or not from where we were sitting. But uh, that was just strong running. Uh, the defense got there in time, but wasn't quite able to uh, stop the hard charging runner. Yeah, as, uh, as we said earlier, there's going to be plenty of scoring today. So it's 10-10 with a conversion attempt to go. Uh, pretty, pretty tough angle. Let's see what the fullback can do. Okay, that was a long strike, just barely inside the post and high enough. Well done. That's good for an extra two points. So we're looking at uh, visitors 12 and the home team 10. Okay, here's our restart, nice high kick. Taken cleanly. Okay. Short little crash, good for about a meter. Back up to the game line, not much more. Ball comes out for a kick. Gravity's back for it, well taken. Here comes the counter attack. Yeti with the ball. Oh, gets the ball out. Uh, Tim with the ball, a lot of congestion there. And okay. Oh, he didn't release. Yep, didn't release in the tackle, so a penalty uh, assessed on Torpo. Yeah, that counterattack uh, there didn't look like it took the, uh, the shape that you, you'd hoped for. Uh, turned out well enough with the uh, infraction and then a rather long kick by uh, Tungby. He's got quite a boot to uh, gain roughly, what, 40, 45 meters. So uh, line out into uh, about 10 meters into the kick room uh, on the side of the pitch. Throwing into Warriors. Okay, another clean line out. That's turning into a mall. Yep, we're well, making good progress there. Good drive on that mall. It continues. That made 15 meters. Uh, oh, the ball was stolen in the mall. That's a turnover. Getting 15 meters doesn't help when you lose the ball. Comes out wide. Uh, the ball does not go to hand. And a forward pass, so we're going to get a scrum to gold. Uh, another 10, 10 or 12 meters into Turku territory from where the line out was. So good outcome in spite the uh, turnover of the mall for the Warriors. So let's see how this uh, this scrum shapes up. Uh, Warriors are doing pretty well in the first couple of scrums in terms of uh, Manhandling in Turkey. Uh, looks like we're not quite set up right. The ref not quite happy with the, uh, the setup, so we'll just reset, start again. Okay, guys in. Very solid. Very solid. 
Nice pass to, oh, oh, nice pass inside to Tim. Nice game there. That was a 20 meter game. Yuha, uh, the prop, the big man, rumbling forward. Keeps possession, ball comes out again. Oh, one more pass will do. One more pass will do. No, oh, it takes a few more than one pass. He's almost there. Defense came back quickly. Uh, Tripper did well to go to try that. I think we're going to have, yep. Oh, Andre trying to squeak in like the sneaky number nine he is. Dayan says the ref. Let's have a couple of pick and goes and see if we can get it. Hit the, the goal line. Couple more pick and goes. This is the old wedge play. Try awarded. Let's see who got that down. That number five. Scored by the second row. The big man, the octogenarian. Okay, so that looks like uh, 17-12 at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can get the conversion. Oh, that's a little wide. That's a little wide, sadly. No mocks. Yeah, the scoreboard is being obstructed by a person of considerable girth. It is 15-12 for home team. Yeah, I figure if I use some uh, less common English vocabulary, I can get away with saying more. You get what you pay for with me in commentary. That's all I can say. Okay, we're going to have a restart, and... Uh, I'll tell you, this is going to be a game with a bunch of scoring. That's always, that's always a lot of fun to watch. So here we go for the kick. Uh, nice high ball. Taken cleanly. Ball goes to ground. Here comes ball out. Ooh, nice little kick to himself. Well done by the center. That's good for a 15-meter game. Big overload on the right. Oh, Yuha with the drive. He gets five meters. Pumps with a nice kick. Nobody really back there to cover. Uh, that might run a little long. No. Okay. Tumpy uh, wants that. He gets it again. Let's see what he does. Oh, makes a nice cut back inside. Another cut inside. Turns around like a bow weevil on crack. Uh, we got a knockdown with advantage goes to Turkey. Either way, it would be advantage to uh, uh, Turkey, their ball. Here comes a kick. That is uh, interesting. Probably not where really wanted a kick. Worked out well enough. Mm, okay, that was a bit of an opportunity missed there, but it worked out all right. Nice work to keep the ball by Warriors. Yuha with a big hit. Ball's out again. Long ball to the second row. Oh, nice clean ball to Tim. He's got space. Tim is dangerous. Oh, Tim's got a man inside. That is going to be good for five. Quite possibly seven. Beautiful, beautiful run. Yeah, the fast pace of this game is going to leave defenders uh, on each side. Very little opportunity to get in position. Uh, it's just, it's hard on defense when everything happens so fast. So we're going to see some, uh, some long runs like this today, I think. So 22-12, uh, uh, ball got touched down right underneath the post. This is a simple chip shot. Let's see how it goes. 
the Georgia, what the Georgia players just now are clearing the referee was the fact that there was a ruck here and they were claiming that some of the Warriors players were off their feet. They weren't. They were in a strong position in the ruck. There was a total uh, question of obstruction from Warriors players by bridging. There was no bridging. The ruck was fine. Warriors played and then we saw the score. And the conversion was good. So I think that puts us up to 24-12. Uh, when the scoreboard gets adjusted. Okay, getting ready for the restart. And I think we're like 25 minutes into this half. So there's... Uh, we, we had a stoppage, so we're about... Yeah, maybe about 20. Yeah, about 25 minutes into the half. So we've got another... Uh, another 15 or so to play, plus some stoppage time. <laughs> the peanut gallery is in the booth alongside me. Okay, nice high kick, cleanly taken. Warriors are going to be able to keep the ball. Uh, number nine gets the ball out. Looks like it's going to Wuhan. Boom! Big hit. Burns two hard meters. Ball comes out again. Ooh, Tompoy's show and kick. Yep, little show and go. Gets six, seven meters up the middle. Not easy. Uh, Arrow runs to the hard way with another crash from the front row. Oh, Tim is slippery. Outside center, Tim made four meters through quite a bit of contact. Back to Yuha. Bang. Two meters after contact. Quick ball out. We're going weak. Oh. Nice little kick charge down, went right back to the Warriors, so they advance again. Okay, slight gain there, pretty much made the game line no big deal. Here comes the ball wide. Plenty of space, plenty of space, run it straight up. Very good. Okay, good tackle, good support. Oh, ball came out the side. Warriors got it. Uh, a couple things there. Yeah, uh, there was also someone who clearly did not come in uh, through the gate. Yeah, but when you have multiple defense, you can just go with the first defense. Yeah, uh, so if it wasn't hands, it was going to be something else. Uh, okay, so uh, penalty, here's the kick. Looks like he's going to just go for touch, see if he can make some meters. Oh, that ball stays in. That is a kick from behind the 22. Oh, it takes a bit of an awkward bounce. The winner didn't handle that all that cleanly. Big kick back. Tumpy calls for the ball. He has it. Makes a counter kick. Oh, another awkward bounce. Not a lot of pressure after that kick. The Warriors need to follow up those kicks. There's another kick back. Oh, straight to the number nine. Oh, Andre runs into a prop and gets the better of it. Well played, number nine. Gets six or seven meters after contact. Uh, yeah, particularly when he hears that on the replay, right? It was well done. It was well done. He got low and jobbed him. Okay, uh, Matias uh, went to move inside. Keeps the ball, gets a few extra yards, slowly the hard way, ball out again for Warriors. The pace of attack here is blistering. Both teams are just really, uh, go, go, go. Uh, okay, that was a little sloppy, but it looked like Johannes saved the ball. It's out again. Uh, oh, comes to the back line. Oh, nice dish, one more to the wing. Ah, uh, Yeri bundled into touch. Nice to get the ball. Uh, out that wide that quickly, but uh, fortunately for Toku, uh, their outside center number 12 was able to get uh, wide just in time uh, to catch the wing and chuck him out of bounds. There was certainly a disparity in the uh, size between those two players. Well, as most women tend to tell me, size shouldn't matter, or doesn't matter. I don't think you can get women to talk to you, but that's a separate issue. 
Okay, and here's the relieving kick from Turku straight out. Okay, so uh, Turku is able to relieve a uh, significant amount of pressure. Uh, they're about halfway between the 22 and uh, the midfield line. It's going to be Warriors now. 10 point game, lots of scoring. Warriors line outs have been pretty clean so far. There's another one. They're going right to that mall. Nice drive again. Looks like the prop has the ball. Mm -hmm. off. Okay, uh, falls on the ground, it's a ruck, falls out. Oh, nice wide attack. He's running a little bit wide. Krabby has to cut back inside, straighten it out. Uh, turnover. Oh, Tungpi almost got the ball back. Yeah, uh, Jack Crabtree, Crabby, the fullback, was uh, in on that play. Uh, yeah, he was he was in on that play. So when uh, Toko kicked the ball, fortunately it was super high and not very far. There wasn't a lot of defense back there. Um, typically, the the two wings and the fullback uh, referred to often as the back three. Uh, those three players really have to be aware of where each of the other two are. So when one of those three is uh, running the ball and caught up in the attack, the other two basically split uh, responsibility for defense in the whole backfield. So when the fullback is in, the wing needs to slide back out with person. Uh, Warriors win the line out, and the ball goes out to Tumpy, who kicks a long low line drive all the way to the try line. Uh, Tumpy's got a bigger foot than the opposing fullback, so in this kicking game back and forth, Warriors are going to typically net out a few more meters. That is a 50-22, which is a relatively new and bizarre rule uh, to me. I can say it's bizarre if I think it's bizarre. I don't need to hear this from you. This guy next to me off the mic thinks he's a referee or something, knows all the rules. Uh, he is actually a referee and does know all the rules. Uh, so, uh, if you kick the ball, and correct me because I might not have this right, if okay. you kick the ball from behind uh, your 50 and it goes past the 22 and the other side doesn't touch it and it ends up going out of bounds, whether on the full or not on the full, uh, then it's your line out because they just didn't do anything with the ball when they had a chance to. Yeah, so the, the law came in to um, reward the attacking play. So this is why now... The attacking team has it, so it's more of an onus on the defensive team. Speaking of onus on the defense, Dumpy is running around uh, all over the place. Still found a way to get the ball long pass wide. Went to Matias, who took a pretty good shot there, but maintained the possession. Ball comes out again wide to Tumps. Oh, who beats a man and is in. is not the youngest guy on that pitch, but he is one of the slipperiest uh, players I've really ever seen in terms of trying to defend it. His ability to run for an opponent uh, is startling. Okay, so five more puts us up to uh, 27, and Tumpy's going to have to convert his own uh, try from uh, pretty much the far corner. So that's a difficult kick. Let's see what he can do. Okay, there's the kick. Uh, not quite long enough, not quite on target, but that's a difficult poke from that sideline. 27 Warriors, 12 for the visiting Turku Eagles. And again, sitting here doing commentary, thirsty work. I feel like a Guinness is in order. I'm going to A and B for that. 
but I'll be snacky before, so I think I'll stop off at, uh, at the Lazy Fox. Good eats. And good people there, too. We certainly appreciate it that folks would support our sponsors. Okay, here's our restart. Oh, almost offsides on the restart. Can't go until he kicks the ball. Cleanly taken by an unknown Packy. Couldn't see who it was. Balls out quickly to Lero. Boom! Prop on prop there. And Lero getting driven back. Good drive from Turku, but good possession. Oh, nice looping play. Plenty of runners outside. Nice attack. Good clean tackle there. Trooper did well to shut down that attack. They were overloaded considerably. Johannes with a nice run there. Good game. Oh, the big man inside. Pause out again. Oh, there's a knock on. Bad luck. Okay, so as, as, as discussed, like the, the pace of attack for both sides is just really quick. There's a lot, a lot happening in this game very quickly. Uh, pretty clean play by both sides. Not a lot of knock-ons, not a lot of penalties or, or other mistakes. Uh, this is going to be a scrum to uh, Turkle, who's been a little bit on the back foot in, in the scrum. So let's see what the Warriors can do. Uh, when a scrum is moving backwards, the attacking team has a really hard time getting the ball out and getting it out clean. It's a real problem. A little strong Warriors drive. Yep, making it real hard for that ball to come out. Scrum half does a nice job of cleaning up the mess. Good defense by Warriors. Ball's gonna come out slowly. Yep, crash ball to big number eight. Ball comes out, this needs to be a kick. Or not. Oh, broke a tackle, broke another tackle. That's a problem. He's a slippery runner. He's got someone outside. Kicks to the outside. Ball sets up nicely for him. Try in the corner. That was a really, uh, really well-crafted attack there. Uh, looked like the number 10 didn't have much of a choice but to kick. He changed his mind. Uh, Sidestepped a couple of folks. Missed a tackle attempt a few meters past the game line. Uh, kind of ran out of options, but did have support to the outside, so he uh, quick tapped the ball uh, forward and took a nice bounce and set up nicely for, uh, I want to say the inside center, number 12, uh, who was just able to get uh, the ball over the try line. Uh, defense did a pretty good job of covering them, but when the ball bounces right up into your hands and you're running onto it, uh, it's pretty hard for somebody to tap with you and stop you from, from making a few meters. Nice play. So that's 17-27 uh, with the uh, conversion um, offer. There's the kick, bit of a knuckleball, had the distance, but not quite on line. It's really hard to kick the ball from you know, 40 meters, 30 meters out, and all the way over towards the sideline. Uh, you get about nine degrees uh, to work with in terms of where you'd have to put that ball. Maybe seven from there. Okay, so uh, 27 Warriors, 17 Turku. High scoring first half for sure. No lack of excitement here. No lack of pace. Now let's see who's going to get the big hit. Tumpy puts the ball up nicely. Ooh, nice high ball. Cleanly taken. Pass back. Uh, yep, there's a cross-town kick. And it goes out. So that's going to be line out Warriors just past the midfield. Okay, I think there's five or seven minutes left in the half, something like that. Hard to say. 
Let's call it two or three. Oh, quick line out. Very nice. Let's see how this goes. All right, nice attack. Uh, oh, Jack found a runner on the outside. Got the ball off nicely to the wing. Uh, looks like Mackie got bundled off in the touch. You know, at a certain point in that last play, I was like, what's going to happen? Uh, I forgot to tell you what it was. I was just too excited to see how it was going to turn out. And for those who are keeping score, that was one of the rare opportunities where I found myself at a loss for words. Okay, uh, nice take and uh, ball out wide for Turku. Looked like he was going to kick. He was trying to show and go there. Nice run to the inside. Uh, gets past the game line. Ball's out again weak. Yep, there's the big man outside. There's a nice little boot. Looks like Crab is on it. He is. Nice counter kick. Nobody back there. Nobody back there. Oh, get on that ball, Warriors. Nobody back there. Oh, crap. Uh, yep, Krabby makes the tackle. Uh, not forward. Uh, Krabby made the tackle after his own kick. And three whistles makes me think it's halftime. He went toot, toot, toot with the whistle, <laughs> so that seems to be halftime. Like, you only blow the whistle three times if it's halftime or yeah, the end of the game. Yeah. All right, so here we are at halftime, and it is 27-17. Uh, High scoring game that does not, uh, that is not lacking for things to talk about. Okay, so uh, we're going to take a break and come back. And I'll see you right about kickoff.
No, he was not. No, 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 no. I think there were like two for that 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 two Okay, and we're back for the second half. Warriors 27, Turku Eagles 17. Very exciting match, lots of scoring so far. Fast paced game. A lot of line breaks, a lot of big hits. And here's the kickoff, nice and high. Ooh, nicely taken on the bounce. Okay, there's a tackle. Player is released. Ball comes out. Flash play to one of the props. Ball's out again. Goes to the back line. Oh, a little space out there. A little space. Julian with some shake and bake. Gets the ball down. Ball comes out nicely. High pass from the scrum half. Oh. Not clean, but not a knock on. Nice. Lead on the maintain possession. Looks like we're going to go right again. Oh, inside pass to big man, Yuha. Protects the ball. Oh, we got a whistle here. Yep, there's a knock on in there somewhere. I didn't see it. Might have been a knock on the right side uh, as the ball came out of that, that rock. Hard to see from, from where I'm sitting. So, uh, scrum to blue. The, uh, the Turkish scrum's been under a little bit of pressure here. Let's see if the Warriors can drive him back. Uh, again, the scrum is a awful push of the wall over the ball. And if you can push the other team backwards, it's very difficult for them to get the ball out. Oh. They can't start pushing until <laughs> It's time to start pushing. Uh, if you engage early, that can be a penalty. Uh, it might not have been clear to the ref that one side uh, committed an infraction more than the other. A lot of times they just say, settle down, boys, we're going to restart. Okay, set. The ball's now in. Oh, big drive by the Warriors. Ball's out. Oh, that's a knock on. So that pass was just a little bit behind the, uh, I guess, outside center for uh, for Turco, and it did not come to hand. As he tried to collect it, he lost the ball forward. That's a knock on, and it results in a scrum to the opposition. So uh, Warriors put it for the scrum. A little short in midfield, a little bit of space on the right-hand side, lots of space on the left. The Turku fullback is way back uh, in expectation of a kick from the Warriors. Oh, there's a penalty. Okay, uh, penalty awards the Warriors because uh, Turku was not able to keep their side of the scrum up. So, collapse of the scrum. Uh, looks like Pumpy's going to kick for touch. So it's Warriors line out. Oh, long ball. Okay. Uh, long, low ball. It bounced inbounds. But where it goes out is Warriors line out. So uh, that was a 40 meter gain off Tumpy's kick. We're now five meters or so inside uh, the Turkle 22 line out Warriors. So again, for the line out, uh, the ball has to go down the tunnel. You can't grab anybody's arm. Oh, 
that's spoiled by Turku and then picked up cleanly. Nice safe ruck for them. Uh, looks like they're going to do a pick and go here. There's a whistle. Up, oh, bit of a knock on. Yeah, looks like a knock on by uh, Turku. Oh no, something else. Yeah, I'm not sure how you can do a kick and go off a scrum. <laughs> okay, so uh, Tumpy's enthusiasm got the best of him. Uh, well, okay, I don't understand what happened, but uh, the scrum did get upgraded into a penalty. Uh, Tumpy did a uh, tap and go real quick, but the ref decided to call it back. Uh, then a quick uh, kick to touch. So uh, about five meters out, it is Warriors line out. All right, down by the triple goal line. Oh, not clean, but the ball's out. Oh, Tim Gilbert gets the ball, driven backward a bit. Still Warriors ball. Nice attack on the far side. Tumpy's through. Tumpy's going to make it. Uh, yep. Uh, well into the try zone. Came back towards the uh, post a bit. Trying to make his conversion uh, kick a little easier. Okay, so that's five more for the Warriors. We're now at 33-17. And Tumpy needs to convert his own try. So he's about halfway off to the right. Uh, he's a right-footed kicker, so the angle's pretty good. Let's see what he can do. Nice strike. A little bit wide. Plenty of height, plenty of distance. Just a little bit off to the right. Okay, so 3317. I think we're about seven, eight minutes into the game, so we've got another 30 minutes or so of rugby. And again, uh, blistering the pace. Uh, both teams are showing quite a bit of fitness to be able to uh, get after the ball, uh, get the ball out this fast, keep the, the rate of work and the pace of play up. Okay, looks like everybody's set for the restart. Here comes the kick. Again, nice high ball. Taken cleanly by the Warriors eight man. Okay, ball's out real quick. Comes to the top on the crash. Ooh, a couple nice meters after contact there by Lito. Oh, we're going. Yep, right back to the game line. Maybe we're going there. Oh, nice pitch to the outside. Ooh, we're in the tight road on the side. Okay, ball's out quick again. Very good. A couple of give and go passes. Very nice amongst the pack players. Can't see because there's a speaker in front of me, sadly. And we have a whistle. So it looks like that's a knockdown. It's going to be scrum to blue. So far, the Warriors have uh, basically dominated the scrums. So they've been uh, successful in pushing uh, the pack from, from Turkle backwards, which makes it really hard to clean in and get that ball uh, up and, and out to start an attack. So let's see if uh, Warriors can continue the trend and make it difficult for the scrum half from Turkle to get that ball out to its mates. Okay, the ball's in. Oh, big push backwards. Ball's caught up in there, no ball yet. Wow, that's six, seven meters backwards. Ball's stolen. Oh, ball comes out to the sidelines. Big step in. Oh, yeah, on the sideline. The ball's still in. No touch. Tackle called by the ref. Oh, nicely done by Ewing to keep the ball in play. And then nicely done by Tumpy to maintain possession. Here comes the Warriors attack. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Bit of a knock on there. Advantage to Turkle. Balls out weak. Oh, good hit by the hooker. Ball's gonna come out again. Oh, goes out wide. Bounce pass to the center. Ooh, that's the outside center. He's a dangerous runner. We'll get about 15 meters on that. Ball comes out. Okay. Another big tackle. That's going to be a high tackle. We call that a seatbelt tackle because Little, unfortunately, had his arm around uh, the shoulder and around the, you know, the neck area of the uh, of the Turku runner. Um, that one's a it's a penalty infraction, but as high tackles go, it was not particularly dangerous. Uh, again, uh, the ref's primary job is to ensure player safety, and uh, high tackles are. Uh, taken extremely seriously in the game. So any tackle attempt needs to be below the player's armpits, basically. And if you uh, reach across someone's chest and get a hand up on top of their shoulder, uh, you know, like a seatbelt, then uh, you're gonna get a penalty. So uh, that's what happened. Turkey uh, was able to kick the ball to touch, gain a few extra meters. So now it's uh, line out to blue. And let's see how this goes. Here's the throw, second jumper. Go down nice and clean. Not thrown in straight. Well, thrown in straight, but there's some problem. Okay, there was some infraction in blue. I'm not sure what. Uh, so it's the option for the Warriors who want their own throw. Long ball. Oh, long ball to Little. Goes back to Tumpy who puts the big boot on it. Oh, that was a big kick. That was a big kick. Oh, they do the fast, the fast throwing. Live ball. There's another kick. Couple of kicks back and forth here. Nicely taken by, I think, the number 10 from Turku, who's going to run up where he wants to keep it. Runs back to support. Runs through quite a few people. Nice game for him. Individual play, nice coming to the top. Balls out again for Turku, goes to the heavies. Three meters or so after contact there. Balls out, stolen. Uh, we got a penalty. Maybe the ball was not out. Uh, I'm not sure what the call is here. We also have some tricky uh, folks complaining to the ref. If that's not the captain who is saying that, then that player is going to get a scolding. Only the captain, in theory, is to speak to the ref. Okay. Uh, oh, that's an interesting play. Uh, so the ball almost went out on the full. Grabby, uh, the fullback, went, uh, went to bat the ball in, but it went forward. And uh, that became a penalty. Now, Tokyo's right on the uh, Warriors' try line. They're going to look to do some crash plays. Oh, lost the ball. There's a knock on in there. OK, it's not a knock on. It was play on, but it was a turnover. Tokyo with the ball, nice clearing kick. Nobody back there. That ball is still in play. That was a 50 meter kick, by the way. Uh, that's a slippery runner. You got to knock him down. Okay, finally caught him a little outside the 22. Good relieving kick, but a nice counter by uh, Toku to make back half the distance of that kick. Okay, no gain on that. Uh, ball out of Toku. And the crash play gets three, four meters. Ball is out. Scrum half gets munched. Squeaks away, gets another meter or two. Scrum half's in the tackle. Somebody else needs to do that job. It's a quick pitch to one of the second rows, I think. A lot of conversation on the pitch about who did what. 
Okay, there is a penalty. It is against Tokyo. I'm not sure what it is. Quite a bit of conversation, but there's a player down. Not sure the ref sees this yet, but there's a player down on the field. That looks like he hit the, uh, the wing on the far side. <laughs> He's up and running now. Okay, straight out to touch. Another 40, almost 50 meter kick. However, uh, where it crossed the sidelines is about 25, 30 meter kick. So uh, Warriors throw in just inside the Tokyo half. Okay, here's the throw. Oh, nice take, nice take to the second jumper. Uh, Clean ball comes out. Oh, line break, line break. Ooh, boy, that was a really nice line break. Unfortunately, the pass uh, was intercepted. Uh, Tim's going to be able to police that up. Oh, oh, nicely done by Tim. To, oh, that's interesting. Uh, Tim is able to kick the ball away. Uh, I'm so far behind the play, I'm just going to start from where we're at. Okay, another, another kick back and forth. Another terrible kick by that team, number 14. It went straight to a Wally Pack member. Matthias with support. Oh, big jackal. Big jackal by Turku there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, looks like Turku got the ball. All kinds of things happened in that last sequence. It was too hard to keep up with. Boom! Yuha with the big hit drives back. An unhappy turkey pack member. Quick crash play. Yep, no gain. Another loss, in fact. Scrum half comes out with the ball. Boom! Another big hit. The ball is slowing down quite a bit from Turkey. They're not uh, attacking as frequently. Oh, that's a knock on. Ball came forward. Nope, somehow that's play on. Ref says, use it, here comes a kick. Low knuckleball. Is that gonna find touch? That finds touch on the far side. So everyone can catch their breath for a second. It's gonna be line out Warriors. So a few minutes ago we had, uh, so much happened so quickly with kicks back and forth, I couldn't keep up with it. Again, the, uh, the pace of the game has been, been blistered. At this point, it does look like Turku's slowing down a little bit, but perhaps a little tired. Okay, uh, line out, ball comes wide. Gabby with space, this was the ball outside the Mati. Oh, Mati's a good runner. Yep. Well done to protect that ball. Nice advance. Oh, Tumpy with a kick through. Nobody back there. Uh, the ball set up nicely for uh, Turku. Uh, Turku really hustled back. He's making a nice counter attack. Good hustle on his part. So Turku uh, defended a tough kick and now gets the ball out. That was a big crash. And I think, uh, I think we'll see another one of those here real quick. Oh, kick to the pocket. Turku goes back for that. Mm, he was thinking about kicking, but he goes for the counterattack. Oh, he's got help outside. Not guess with a strong one. Uh, okay, nice work by the Warriors to protect that ball. Okay, that was a little dicey, but the Warriors maintain possession. Wow, big hit by Toku to stand up your hands. That's not easy to do. Okay, ball is... Uh, okay, 
still phase after phase warriors. They're not really gaining ground, but they're maintaining possession. That's important. Okay. Nice little game there. And then so, oh, ball got lost. And now forward by uh, by the Eagles. So we're gonna settle down and have a scrum. Fast-paced game. Scrum the yellow. Okay, looks like we're going to take a minute for an injury. The medic is called. Looks like the Turkle number 10 uh, took some sort of a knock. Water comes onto the pitch. Both teams get a chance to uh, regroup and have a chat while the uh, magic ice spray gets applied to uh, the Eagles number 10. Looks like a shoulder. I think he took a, a big crash. In the so this rugby's thirsty work makes me think of Guinness and other fine beverages all available at the Aussie Bar. And it's almost dinner time, so the Lazy Fox is a great option as well. Okay, looks like uh, number 10 is none the worse for wear, ready to continue. And we're about to restart with a scrum to pull. Left blows the rest of the time on. Find set. Ball in. Nice and sturdy. Nice and sturdy. Oh. Okay, ball's out. Cleanly the Matias. Good tackle by the Turkey player there. Nicely done to oh. Yep, nicely done to steal the ball and get a penalty. Turku is gonna kick the touch, I would think. Looks like you got a good 20 meters there. Roughly halfway between the uh, 22 meter line and the field. And it's going to be Turkle's line out. score is 32 Warriors, 17 for Turkle. Uh, the ball's not quite been coming to hand as, as easily for Turkle in the second half. They might be getting a little tired, but that was a nice line out. Uh, nice clean line. Oh, nice pitch to the back door, as it were. A little bit of a tackle. Yep, broke a couple, number 10 broke a couple tackles. Finally, the uh, Warriors go back. Crabby was able to bring him down. Looks like he might need a minute, though. He took a shot. Okay, the ref is calling everyone in to have the word with all of both sides. This is unusual. So clearly he's unhappy with something that's going on on the pitch. And he's essentially warning all 30 players about a behavior change that he needs to see. Okay, penalty to the Warriors. Not releasing the ball. So once you're tackled, you have to let go of the ball. Uh, you sometimes have a second or two to make that happen. 
but if there's a defender who could take the ball from you, uh, that time goes away. So if you're protected because there's a ruck over you, then you have a little time. But if you're vulnerable, that's not the case. Uh, another penalty here against, uh, against Toku, that's obstruction. And we're also, uh, Warriors are also being awarded another 10 meters, uh, literally because the uh, Eagles were uh, mouthing off, talking to the ref. Uh, only the captain is supposed to communicate to the ref. Uh, any chatter towards the ref is uh, usually punished. Okay, so uh, good kick for 30 meters, I suppose. Almost 30 meters. We're just at the 22. Uh, it's going to be line out to the Warriors. They have a pretty good streak of uh, winning their own line outs today. They've been very effective at maintaining possession on the throwing. So let's see if they can keep that up. Ball comes in long. Nicely taken. Uh, balls out to the back. Oh, number 10 has to eat it. It protects the ball nicely. Ball's available. Crash play to the prop. Gain line plus a meter. Hard fought. Ball comes out again to the right. Actually left. Uh, okay, Warriors maintain the ball nicely there. Another crash play. Nice two meter game. Ball comes out to the right. Triple came up hard there. No gain. Lost a yard or two. Oh, big fancy sidestep by number three to gain two more meters. Drop kick. Oh, not quite. Uh, drop kick coming for three points. Uh, ball goes out the end of the try zone, also past the dead ball. So, uh, I think that's an option. No, sorry, no option there. This is a 22 meter drop kick. So, uh, Turku has to drop kick the ball across the 22 meter line. They can kick from as far away from the 22 meter line as they want, and the Warriors can try and block that. Uh, ball looks like it's going straight to Krabby. Well played. Uh, nice counterattack forming up. Pass to Tumpy, another kick. Nice chip over pretty much everybody. But the ball sets up well for uh, outside center. That's going to be... Uh, yep, that's, that's out on the bounce, but from behind the 22. So that was just a kick to relieve pressure. Ball goes in quickly. And Chris with a strong run, he's got plenty of support. Oh, holding on to the ball hard, and then a quick tap and go. The ref allowed that one, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Took your ball, but the Warriors are back on defense. Crash play doesn't really go anywhere. Wow. Uh, that looked like a neck roll, which you're not really supposed to do. Couldn't tell if it was clean or not. Uh, okay, took the right man running with the ball. Pitches it wide. Ball goes out to touch. Okay, so line out Warriors uh, just inside their 22. Uh, we've got someone taking a knee, so looks like an injury timeout. I think that might be Tim Gilbert in the outside center, but I can't really tell. Yeah, I think that's Tim. So he's going to get the magic cold spray. It's good for what it is yet. Okay, so the time is back on. And we're looking at a line out to yellow. Uh, score is still 32-17. A lot of back and forth, but not quite as much production as in terms of points. Oh, spoiled and then cleaned up by Turku. They get the ball wide. Defense is there, but there's some dangerous runners. Good stabbing attack towards the try line. I think the ball is just a few meters out from the try line. Big strong runner coming through, pushed backwards. 
Uh, Turkey should be able to clear this rock. Yep, Turkey still got the ball. Goes after a big crash play. Good defense there. Ball's going to come out again. Quick for another crash, I would imagine. Yep. A big man a little farther out. He's initially held up. But he gets in and down. Okay. So that was uh, that was just nicely done by, by the Eagles. They put one of their bigger guys well outside towards the smaller and medium-sized uh, defenders. So uh, you get that kind of a physical mismatch. It's pretty hard to stop someone from advancing just two or three meters. When you're that close to the try line, that's what you want to do. Uh, find a mismatch in size, get the big guy the ball, and make it harder, maybe even impossible, for a couple of smaller players to stop it. Uh, and we are seeing a couple of guys from Turkey uh, who took a couple knocks there. Uh, the trainer's going to have to pitch quite a bit. Uh, this is a physical game. Like, people are going to be sore for a few days after this one. Uh, here comes a conversion attempt. Okay, that one went through. So we go from 17 to 23 to 25. Uh, I think it's 25 to 32. So that's a seven point game. I think we got about 15 minutes left in the half, I'm not sure. And a little bit of stoppage here. Rest having a word with the Turco captain again. We've got a sub coming in for, yep, we've got a sub coming in for Warriors. Looks like Pierre is coming on for someone. Oh, or he's not. Okay. No subs as yet for Warriors. Tumpy for the restart, here's the kick. Nice and high. Taken cleanly by number 10. Quick dish to the eight. He gets it off to a replacement prop. Little ball gets jumbled loose. A oh, big stiff arm by the second row. Rumbling run. He stayed on his feet for an extra five or seven. Uh, ball's coming out to the prop for Turku. Hope oh, that's the hooker. Wow. Nice strong run. That's going to be a penalty. Diving under the ball. Quick tap and go. Not 10. That's going to be, a, yeah, it's going to play advantage there and just let that continue. Oh, Yuha with a very important tackle. Ball's out. Ball's out behind the scrum. So that was all playing advantage, apparently. So we're going to go back to the penalty here. Uh, Tumpy did well to steal the loose ball that uh, was no longer in the rut. The way that works is uh, if two players are fighting for the ball, two or more players are fighting for the ball, and the ball's under somebody, then uh, a defender can't run around the side of the ruck to grab the ball. If the ball comes out the back of the ruck and is no longer in it, then it's fair game for anyone to come around. Uh, so Tumpy saw that the ball was out, grabbed it, uh, and at that point, the ref would be able to come back to uh, an early penalty advantage. So, uh, we had a kick uh, from the Warriors that ended up uh, turning into a line-out for our friends from Turkey. Here's the throw. Ooh, nice take. Balls out very cleanly to uh, the Turkey 10, to the 12, uh, back into the 10 on the loop. He's running sideways again, dishes it back in, but it's bothered, misplayed. That's a turnover for the Warriors. Tim Gilbert was able to take that. Almost lost in the ruck. Okay, so there was a knock on somewhere in there uh, on blue. Uh, the Warriors had the advantage until. Uh, 
they lost the ball, and of course the whistle was from the other. Okay, the scoreboard shows 24 to 32. That's an eight point game. That would be uh, two scores a penalty kick plus a, a try. To make it a time game. Converted try on a penalty kick would do it for Turkey if they can get it. Ball comes out nice and wide. Plenty of space for Matias. Grabby with the ball. Oh, and a man outside. Yikes, there's a lot of space out there. Ball's out. Okay, Warriors picked that up and kept it, and then, then lost the ball. Another quick tap and go. Oh, forward pass, plus a knock on. Okay, so their ref is going to play advantage because uh, when the first penalty was awarded, Warriors need to retreat 10 meters. If you play somebody before you retreat 10, uh, you get an extra 10 meters and a new penalty. So uh, on the quick tap and go, uh, Trooper was able to get a Warrior to commit before he retreated. Uh, 10 is required, so it's their penalty again. There's a quick crash play to the hooker. Trooper's going to get the ball out right. Quick pop to the prop. Almost on the jackal. Oh, that's got to be holding on. Yep, holding on to the ball. Well done, Yuha, to force the penalty. If you hold on to the ball and you're vulnerable to a steal, uh, it's going to earn the, uh, It's going to earn you the whistle and the penalty. Okay, Tumpy takes a great big kick to touch. Gains five or seven meters, but uh, it's pretty hard to kick the ball from the middle of the field all the way out to the sideline, gaining in meters. So, uh, just barely in the turbo half, line out to Warriors. Eight point game, and I think we probably have eight or 10 minutes left. Okay, here comes the throw. Ooh, not in straight. Well, it looked like that was in straight, but there's a there's an infraction I think on Turkle, but I can't quite tell what. No, oh, no, maybe it was maybe it was not in straight, so it's uh, not out to Turkle. And here comes their throw in. Okay, cleanly taken, but not cleanly thrown back to the scrum half. It gets munched. Turkey just loses 12 meters on that. Scrum half is on the bottom of the pile. There's going to be a penalty. Yep. Penalty the Warriors for not releasing the ball, I'm assuming. Here's another 10 meters because someone was mouthing off to the ref. You get punished for that. Uh, it's just ill discipline. It can be very frustrating, but it never helps your team to comment on the officiating when you're on the field. So the Warriors were awarded an extra 10 meters. Tumpy tapped the ball uh, out to touch, and we're about 10 meters from the try line with the Warriors throw in. Uh, clean take by the Warriors is going to show a ball. Yep. There's the ball. Okay, the ball came out. Yuha scooped it up. Big drive for him. Ball's going to come out for Warriors here in a second. Look for some pick and goes. Oh, big drive. Another one. Another pick and go coming that looks like Leo. Big pick and go. Okay. Good clean ball. Let's do two more of those. Yuha ready for the next pick and go. Oh, they decide to go wide. Oh, it looks like, yep, looks like Tumpy fended off two tough tackles, two determined efforts. He was able to dot the ball now. Uh, I think Tumpy's got three tries today. That's a hat trick and a penalty for him at the bar. 
he's going to be fine for that. So again, I think he needs to try and convert his own and try. getting a little bit of a magic ice spray uh, on your wrist or a thumb, perhaps. It looks a little, a little banged up. Duncan's getting ready for his kick. Good strike, nice long ball. Off to the side a bit. You can see the wind hold that ball up a little. It's starting to be a little bit of breeze here. Much as I hate to say it, it's a beautiful fall day. Summer, it seems, is behind us. Yeah, it's 13 degrees today, Celsius. It makes it about 55 where I come from. Okay. The ref just let the, uh, the Turkish side know there's four minutes left. Uh, looks like number 12 left plenty early on the kickoff, but that went unobserved. Uh, it also looks like Turkey was able to steal the ball. Okay, not releasing the tackle. Quick tap and go. Turkey's making some nice yardage here. Okay, they decide to go wide this time. Oh, big tackle by Tumpy. Okay, oh, big pot off to the right, or left rather. That's the hooker. Oh, he's a big, strong runner, and he makes it to the corner. I'd be interested to see that uh, kickoff again on, uh, on the replay. Uh, Hard to say precisely why, but it did look like uh, number 12 from Turkey took off pretty early, well before the kick, which would have put him off sides, uh, since he was a key playmaker in that last series. Uh, if that was the case, uh, there'd be no score if that was noticed. So uh, regardless, that's how it goes. It's now 29 to 37. Uh, Rather difficult kick from way out by the sideline. And uh, Turco's fullback, let's see what he can do. Okay, long kick. Wow. So he just barely skimmed the top of the upright and it went through. I was prepared to yell clanker as the ball bounced uh, off the goal post, but that's not what happened. Stripped it right through. It is now 31-37 with about two minutes left to play. So I think we have just one or two minutes. The Warriors need to do all they can to get the ball, maintain possession, and use up that clock time. Uh, looks like we had a bit of an injury timeout. Uh, number two, the hooker for Turku, who's had a big day. Uh, looks a little bit worse for wear. No surprise if he'd be a little banged up after all the hard running he's done. Okay, here comes the restart. Nice high kick. Right to the wing. Okay, a couple of things going on in the ruck there, but I guess the rest have to be enough with it. Oh, contesting the ruck quite a bit. A couple of big hits in there. Ref says Kayan. Ball comes out weak. Oh, 
bad things happen there. I don't know what the ref called. It might have been a high tackle by Warriors. They are really fighting for that ball right now. Ball's right underneath. Scrum half gets it. Oh, driven over. Warriors driving over the ball. This is a turnover. This is just a hot mess. That's a hot mess of fighting for the ball. And that's the whistle. That's game. Okay. Hard fought contest today. Hard fought contest. 31 points by our friends from Turku, the Eagles. 37 for Warriors. Again, this was a blistering, fast paced game. Really, the whole day. Lots of strong runs, lots of big, uh, big plays. Good clean contest, and it looks like pretty much everybody's able to walk off the pitch after a tough day. So, uh, well done to Turku for putting up a tremendous fight. Well done uh, to the Warriors for finding a way to win through. And again, uh, pro tradition, uh, both teams are going to congratulate each other and uh, offer their respects. The Warriors will thank Turku for coming down and giving them a tough game. for a hard fought game well played. Well, thanks everybody for watching the game. Uh, thanks to all who came out and all who volunteered to help make it happen. Uh, thanks to both teams from Turkey for coming down. Uh, it's now time to get something to eat at the Lazy Fox and certainly time to get a cocktail at the Osmond. Uh Until next time, thanks for watching.